Uh, speaker wires, 14 or 16 gauge, there's a difference in sound. Uh, typically, it's more about how long the cable run is as far as like which gauge you should get. So the longer the cable run, the bigger, right? The bigger the mm -hmm. gauge you should get. So mm -hmm. I have 14 on all of them here. I had like nine, nine gauge on my front stage because, yeah. It's, yeah, they were the um god, they're still in mammoth. Fuck. Am I ever gonna see those cables again, Joe? I don't know. <laughs> there are a few websites. I don't know that this is the best one here. Um yeah, put it up. I, I made a video about this years ago. Maybe I should redo it. I don't know. You know. Soon tight. No. What's up, dude? What happened? What oh whoa, 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 whoa. Do I need to start wearing a mask around you, bro? Did you, did you get the Rona? What yeah, happened? Man. Let's go. That, that yearly cold you get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the there's the link right there. I don't know that this is the best site. There's a bunch of them, but let's see. Chrome tab, window, Chrome tab. Okay. So something like this, where you just type in Imperial for dumb Americans. Okay. <laughs> oh, and you an actual that. like calculator type thing? Yeah, you tell because it depends on a few things, like uh how many watts, right? Uh, the resistance. Oh, this is way more complicated than... Okay, all right, yeah. Apple okay. Fire, okay. And then, yeah. So you type in all the values and it'll tell you, you know, what you can expect. I don't know that this is the best site, but you can find other sites like this where it recommends a... Uh, I, a I game Based on the distance and the yeah. power, so... Okay. So it's those things. Um, mainly, mainly it's how long is the run, and how uh not seeing links see, okay, see yeah, the, question. the link is in the uh chat box there um let's see i don't know that again i don't know that this is the best calculator but you can look online and there are a I bunch think, of calculators yeah so lower lower awg for longer runs so like 40 50 foot run uh run you're gonna want to do like 14 gauge uh, 12 is when you start getting into like it's hard to like turn them, you know? Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's a little. So I, I, I would do, I used to do, eye, what's up? I just go by eye, look at the cable, I'm like, all right, 30 feet. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You know what I'm talking about? Like sometimes those cables just look like too, too thin. Yes. But then you don't have to go crazy either. You don't have to, it doesn't have to look like, uh, car battery terminals going all the way to, <laughs> to Does your not need to look like your that. Uh, height speaker. Come on, like how much <laughs> I was really going to that thing. Yeah, you know, I I, will, I think it'd make a lot of sense to go a little bit overboard, maybe on your left and right and center speaker, just because they're probably, you know, you're probably going to throw a lot of power at them. So, mm -hmm. open up your sub and see how thick that. Wires. I wonder how thick the wires in a sub. It's a short this, run. This is the same, same, same questions we had that first, like sit down, the blurry sit down, the blurry Joe sit down at your shop. Oh yeah, you remember this? What's what are the what are the cables on the inside of the speaker? Are they oh, yeah. giant gauge? Are they just lamp cord? Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. I I wouldn't worry too much about it, right? Uh, the good thing is there's not a huge price difference. You know, yeah. going from a smaller gauge to to a larger gauge wire. The thing that you you mentioned though is something to consider: is if you have to hide this wire, it gets more difficult the thicker the cable is. Yeah. Oh, and like also, like, like, like you think, it doesn't bend. Like they don't. Yeah, it doesn't bend. Sort of, yeah. Or you like like with yours in your um, living room, you had to go like you had to jimmy rig some stuff so it actually gets to your rear heights and so you had to go with something super thin and at some locations right yeah uh, i think they're like either 16 or 14 something like that but they're small speakers i'm not they're running off the avr yeah. amplifier and uh one thing to remember is they also have cables that have four four wires inside of them mm -hmm. so you only have to run you one. know one wire to the rear and then from there you can get some kind of splitter you know, kind of attach it so you can split it off from there. I know a lot of audio files are like, oh, but it's not a big deal. You're not talking their language, Joe. That's yeah. Why. Splitters. What do you? Yeah. Think? 
two channel audio file guys aren't running uh cables to their rear height speakers probably so no nope. Uh, it's no, it's nothing critical, but uh, in my little man K544, I end up repacking 12 gauge wire with 18 gauge for about 30 foot runs. Didn't almost notice, notice much difference, but it was for Atmos stuff. So yeah. are you going to notice a difference? Probably not. But if it makes you feel better, spend thousand dollars on your cable. Oh, crazy. I mean, I, dude, I, I really love those Kimber cables, man. And I, and and because they're like, I like braided cables, but they actually they actually braid the wires, so it like looks cool. Yeah. And uh, and it's the ones I had. It says once you're once you actually, if you were to actually like have the cable, uh, it's nine gauge for each leg, the positive and negative on those oh, things. Wow. I was like, oh damn, <laughs> okay. So when it's I'm running 400 watts from that uh, Parasound into some four ohm speakers, like, hey, all right. That's kind of what I did with the uh, car stereo. I had to wire up some apps, but I ran out of, uh, you know, some, you know, the wire, like mm -hmm. thick wire. So yeah, I just yeah. got a bunch of the other ones, and then I just put three, three or four of them together and twisted it. You know the trick. <coughs> you know the trick. You put one side on the on the drill, right? You clamp it, huh. and then you can. So. Twist so it real twist nice, it oh, even. Ah. Now you have a twisted. So, just in case you didn't know, it looks cool. Uh, Jeremy's saying he had ten gauge cables for LCR. Switch them out for twelve. Didn't hear no audible difference. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at Anchor.fm/slash/DailyHiFi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.